While the Western diet has changed rapidly, our bodies don't evolve so quickly. And as a result, we've seen an explosion in heart disease. According to the Center for Metabolic and Cardiovascular Health, EPA and DHA intakes in the average diet are substantially below recommended levels. Fortunately, fish oil can help to get the nutrients we need. The power of fish oil was first recognized in the 1970s when researchers investigated the low rates of coronary heart disease in Denmark. They found that the Danes were healthier in large part due to their traditional marine diet. More recently, a Harvard study of 8,000 patients found that taking fish oil daily significantly reduced the frequency of heart attacks, stroke, and premature death. So why not just eat fish? Eating enough fish to get the omega-3 we need can be tricky. Modern-day farmed fish contains lower levels of bioavailable omega-3. If you're fortunate to have an affordable supply of wild-caught oily fish, that's one thing. But then you have to think about mercury contamination. Fish oil is incredibly powerful, but not everyone should take it. That's why in today's video, we'll take a closer look at the five important things you should know about fish oil, including what to think about when considering fish oil, how to store it, and how to consume it to get the most benefit. But before we continue, can you do us a favor? Click on the thumbs up and help us spread the word about heart disease prevention. And ring the bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. We want to make sure you get the latest info so you can live a long, healthy life. And stick around to find out how to get two heart healthy free gifts. We guarantee both you and your heart will love them. So, why fish oil? Fish oil contains heart healthy omega-3 fatty acids, which can also be found in foods like flaxseed and walnuts. But unlike fish oil, flaxseeds and walnuts lack two specific compounds, which we'll get into in a second. But first, number one, fish oil supports whole body health. Fish oil is not only good for the heart, it's also great for the brain, skin, joints, and overall health. The long-chain fatty acids in fish oil help to reduce inflammation throughout the body, which can lead to a decrease in joint pain, prevent the development of plaque in the arteries, and even fight cognitive decline, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, and a whole host of mental health issues. A seven-year longitudinal study published in the journal Nature found lower levels of depression and mood disorders in people who ate more omega-3. The authors highlighted the deficiency of omega-3 in the modern diet as a major cause for concern. In another study, scientists discovered that fish oil supplements may even be beneficial as a treatment for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease currently impacts up to 39% of the population, a number that is steadily increasing as more and more people become obese. Number 2. EPA and DHA are what matters most. Icosapantenoic acid and docosahexanoic acid, or EPA and DHA, are the main beneficial compounds found in fish oil. They are essential omega-3 fatty acids, meaning that our bodies don't produce them, so we have to get them from our diet. These beauties are responsible for preventing blood clots, reducing inflammation, and improving blood circulation. Think of them like an all-in-one lubricant for the body. EPA and DHA are also essential for supporting development inside the womb, and to protect heart function and brain health as we get older. Now, before landing on the top shelf, most fish oils go through a purification process to remove heavy metals and other nasties. This processing also concentrates the levels of beneficial EPA and DHA up to 90% in some cases. A golden rule for when you're shopping around is to look for higher concentrations of EPA and DHA. It's not about vitamin A or any other ingredients, 
EPA and DHA are what matters. It can be hard to distinguish between fish oil options, but you'll find that cheaper fish oils often contain lower levels. You get what you pay for here, so make sure to read the ingredients list before purchasing. Additionally, some fish oils are more easily absorbed by the body than others. To get the most from your fish oil, choose a triglyceride-based supplement for optimal absorption. Before we continue, it's important to mention that you should check with your doctor if you have any health conditions. While most people don't have any side effects, there are some conditions where fish oil should be discussed with a doctor first. If you're taking medication for blood pressure or medication that affects blood clotting, or you're pregnant or nursing, or if you have any doubts, be sure to talk with your doctor first. While many people will still be able to take fish oil without medication, it's always best to get the all clear from your GP. If it means that you can continue living well, get down on the ground with the grandchildren, or play golf, it's definitely worth investigating. Okay, back to the list. Number three, fish oil can go rancid. Fish oil is susceptible to oxidization and going rancid. This process is accelerated by light, heat, and oxygen, which is why you'll find most fish oils in dark bottles stored in the fridge. When fish oil goes rancid, it produces a strong fishy smell and taste. Rancid fish oil loses its potency and is known to cause negative side effects such as stomach ache and the dreaded fish burps. So, make sure to purchase from a trusted supplier and respect that expiry date. Okay, we're almost at the end of our five important things you should know about fish oil. But before we go, Heart Disease Code would love to give you a free book. The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol, plus the first episode of the untold story of heart disease. Something that everyone concerned about heart health should watch. Click the link in the description below to claim these free gifts. Number 4. Take your fish oil with a meal. For best absorption, take your fish oil supplement with a meal that includes healthy fat. This is going to boost the bioavailability and help your intestines to absorb the long-chain fatty acids. Some people also experience acid reflux when taking fish oil. Eating a meal at the same time can help to reduce this. And while most fish oils nowadays are free from fishy aftertaste, some people may still experience it. So to avoid any unwelcome surprises, take your supplement with food. You may even choose to split your dosage into two portions. Most fish oil gels recommend two per day, so you can easily have one with breakfast and another with lunch or dinner. Number 5. There are many sources of fish oil. Fish oil supplements come from oily fish. Some of the more popular options include cod, sardines, herring, salmon, and anchovy. Experts recommending choosing a fish oil from a single type of fish rather than cheaper supplements that's made from a mix of different fish. Primarily, this is for transparency reasons. In terms of processing, safety measures, and accuracy of the ingredient label, such as EPA and DHA levels, the most highly recommended options include krill oil and green-lipped mussels, which are technically not fish at all. Krill is particularly interesting. They are small crustaceans that look like shrimp, and the fatty acids in krill are called phospholipids, which have a particularly high bioavailability, meaning that the body can easily absorb them. It also contains the antioxidant astaxanthin, which helps to strengthen the immune system and improve muscle recovery and exercise. As krill don't live for very long, they are less likely to contain mercury and heavy metals. Plus, they are considered one of the most sustainable fish options. If you're considering a liver option, such as cod liver oil, caution is advised. Liver oils have found to contain particularly high levels of vitamin A, which can be toxic in large amounts. So, it's best to avoid cod liver oil unless it's specifically recommended by a healthcare professional. And there you have it. Five important things you should know about fish oil. Number one, fish oil supports whole body health. Number two, 
EPA and DHA are what matters most. Number 3. Fish oil can go rancid, so take care. Number 4. Take your fish oil with a meal. Number 5. There are many sources of fish oil, and they are not all equal. What's your latest heart healthy habit? Leave us a comment and share it with the Heart Disease Code community. And remember to get your two free gifts, the surprising truth about fat and cholesterol, and the first episode of the untold story of heart disease. Just click the link in the description below to get them both. And remember to like this video and click the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date as we release new videos. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a happy and heart healthy day.